In this video, I'm going to show you what Ice Cream Sandwich looks like on the Rogers Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE. Um, but before I continue any further, I need to explain that this is not the official Rogers update. This is a Ice Cream Sandwich ROM. It's actually the stock ROM, the Ice Cream Sandwich ROM that comes for the AT&T version of the Galaxy S2. It is extremely stable, LTE and everything works fine. And the reason is that um, everything works fine is because AT&T and Rogers use the same uh, cell phone frequencies. That's why uh, their devices are very similar and that's why LTE, um, 4G, regular phone calls, everything works fine on the Rogers variant. So it's a very stable ROM. Uh, I just got fed up waiting for Rogers because a billion dollar company releasing an open source OS for their customers just seems ridiculous. Like I, I guess they want to install their Rogers bloatware instead. Um, so yeah, in order to get this up and running, there are three videos I created. So Rogers users, you must root your device, which is on Gingerbread. Um, you must install recovery, and you must then flash the ROM itself. It seems like a lot being split up into like three videos, but it's not that difficult. Each video is only like six minutes long, and believe me, it's well worth it. So let's jump straight into it. Um, the first function I will show you is the built-in task manager that Google included in Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, you can just access it by holding down on the home button for a while and just swipe an app away and that's it. That's how fast the app's closed. You just swipe it and it's, it's closed. Um, what else can I show you? Okay, the camera is very similar to what was there before. Uh, the gingerbread variant looks exactly the same but of course you get the uh, Ice Cream Sandwich picture mode. So basically if you if you're just taking a regular picture, shooting mode, there's the new panorama mode, which, I mean, there's always apps for it. There was apps available for panorama on any uh, Android version on the Google Play Store, but whatever. Uh, now it comes pre-installed. My biggest gripe with this um, update is that the phone app, if you open it up, it doesn't have contacts. Uh, I know my camera's not focusing, but... but you can kind of see it has favorites, logs, and the dialer itself. To access contacts, you have to open the contacts app. I'm not sure why they would do that. I'm not sure who's to blame with the, for that. If it's AT&T or Samsung, um, most likely Samsung. I'm not sure why they would do that because the gingerbread version had the dialer and contacts all within one app. Um, now I use a third-party app called X Dialer with an ice cream sandwich theme. So I. I that's the major complaint that I have. I find it utterly ridiculous. Um, other things such as Google Maps, you'll notice right away that the UI has been changed. Um, again, if the camera will focus. Okay, there we go. Um, the UI has changed again. This is not an update. It's, I mean, it's I didn't do anything different from the gingerbread version that I was running. Um, the Google didn't update the app recently. It's just this is how it looks now. Uh, you get the menu at the bottom and at the top, and Gmail is actually very similar. You get um, the layout changed. Same with YouTube. As you can see already, the, the UI is completely changed. I prefer the black background, but you know, still very very sleek. Um, looks really nice. And what else? Oh, this is perhaps one of the most important functions, in my opinion. As you can see, the main phone settings have been uh, adjusted. And if you tap data usage, this is, this is one of the most important functions of Ice Cream Sandwich, in my opinion. You can cap your data limit. So, for example, um, right now I'm on Wi-Fi, so you can't, it's not on. Say I, I have a 500 meg data plan, right? I can set this bar up and down so that when I reach 500 meg's limit, let me see if I can just show you. Turn off Wi-Fi. Anyway, I can set a limit so that when I reach 500 megs uh, in my data cycle, I mean my di date cycle, rather, there. See, I've set I set the data to turn off on the phone at 500 megs. And when I reach 430, the phone's going to give me a warning, say, hey, uh, user, you're reaching your data limit. You need to like be careful with that. So, you know, keep forewarned. Um... What else? I believe that's pretty much it. Uh, in terms of the look, it looks very similar to Gingerbread. That's because it's Samsung's fault for installing their stupid um, 
I shouldn't say I shouldn't say stupid, but annoying rather. TouchWiz overlay. It looks nothing like the Galaxy Nexus, of course. Um, but every phone company is guilty of doing something ridiculous like that, in my opinion. Um, I mean, you could you could install something uh, to mimic it. But I mean, you have Go Launcher and an Ice Cream Sandwich theme. It'll make it look exactly the same. But everything else works the same. Uh, you may have to update some of your apps in order to make them ice cream sandwich compatible but you can do that simply in Google Play I believe those are the main functions I can't really think of anything else to really show you ice cream sandwich is a lot nicer I have noticed a significant increase in battery life and um, if you plan on installing this ROM there's only one problem um, with the ROM itself that you can fix easily is that the home button see it's working for me now but the home button doesn't work for a lot of people um, when you install this ROM all you need to do to fix that and I can verify because I was a victim of that problem is go to the phone settings backup and reset and factory data reset I had to reset my phone twice until the home button started working and other users have reported that they've had to do it a maximum of three times okay uh, there's one other thing I'd like to mention I almost forgot is that um, when I was using the stock Rogers gingerbread ROM I noticed that there was a big big problem with the Bluetooth um, every time I turn the Bluetooth off and turn it back on I would say about three to four times about the fourth or fifth time turning it back on it would not turn on at all the only way to make it work again is by uh, turning the phone off and on like resetting it basically and my only solution to that was to basically leave the Bluetooth on 24-7 um, and it's a slight not a major but a slight battery hog by doing that I haven't noticed that problem with this ice cream sandwich ROM um, oh and don't mind the UI this is this is the goal launcher I was talking about with the ice cream sandwich stock ROM it looks like the Nexus uh, Galaxy Nexus that's why um, so uh, it, it, the ice cream sandwich update or ROM rather has fixed the Bluetooth problem which Rogers I have I've continued to tweet them uh, email them and even call them they refuse to acknowledge the problem especially because we have the hands-free law up here in Canada and I abuse my phone like crazy especially when I'm driving I, I mean I abuse my minutes like crazy so um, I feel that that's an extremely important fix and that's why I got fed up waiting on the Rogers update because they were refusing to release it and I flashed the ROM so I, it's another reason I suggest you try experimenting um, but of course by trying to experiment with your phone you could damage it permanently so you're doing it at your own risk but with that said if you found this video useful hit the like button subscribe to my channel or check out my website for technology news and rumors and thanks for watching